Most of us would call it blackface, but in the Netherlands, they just call it Christmas. When Christmas comes around, you can usually expect to see Santa, his reindeer, and helpful elves everywhere. But Dutch Santa doesn't have elves. He has Black Piet, or Zwarte Piet. Piet first showed up in the 1850 Dutch book, St. Nicholas and His Servant. Now, considering this story was written before slavery was abolished in the Dutch colonies, some might say Piet was a slave not a servant. The story claims Black Pete is black because of the chimney soot, but that doesn't explain his Afro-textured hair or large bright red lips, all familiar staples of racist black characters. To make matters worse, traditional Christmas songs describe Black Pete as clumsy and not very bright, which sounds eerily like the negative stereotypes that have surrounded black people for centuries. Today, Black Pete is still a huge tradition in the Netherlands. Black Pete leaves candies and little presents for children, and Christmas parades in the Netherlands regularly feature tons of people dressed as Black Pete, with Afro wigs, bright red lips, and full blackface. It's 2015! Why in the world does this tradition still exist? Well, lots of people argue that Black Pete is harmless because he's part of a children's story, while others argue that he's not really black, he's just covered in soot, despite the obvious black stereotypes. But in reality, this tradition isn't harmless. Just ask the black families living in the Netherlands. Many have grown up being teased and called Black Pete, especially leading up to the Christmas holidays. There's also numerous protests every year by members of the black Dutch community, demanding that Black Pete be retired. Tired. Honestly, if the Dutch are desperate to keep Black Pete, they could always lose the black face, the curly wig, and the red lips and just go for a little sit on the face. I mean, I don't see how that could be so bad. So what do you think? Have you heard of Black Pete and do you think this tradition needs to go? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you in the new year right here on Decoded. People have been arguing about Jesus' appearance basically since the beginning of time. The Bible doesn't ever mention Jesus' race, which makes sense. Christianity had to be universal for it to spread, so there was no point in confining him to one race or another.